Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose, and I'm Delilah Rose, and this is your reading for August 21st to the 27th, 2022. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit the notification button if you can, and remember that I don't solicit, so I will never send you a message asking you if you want a reading. That is a scam, and please report that person. But I do want to hear from you. I do have a advice column on my podcast, and so I would love to use your thoughts or your need for advice um, in one of my podcasts. So drop me an email, DelilahRose622 at gmail, or go to my website, DelilahSpiritualSpot.com. Oh, we have turned away. We have abundance. Be careful what we turn away from, right? So this can go two ways. Be careful what we turn away from because we may turn away from our abundance. Sometimes we need to turn away to find our abundance. Um, so I think... My spirit guides want me to go with the second one. I think sometimes we have to turn away and shake some people and some situations to find our abundance. Sometimes we invite the blocks in our lives. And I want to talk about that because that's where my spirit guides want me to go. Sometimes we invite the blocks in our lives. You know, and it's by people who are the closest to us, who we love. Sometimes they are our greatest challenge. And it's unfortunate that we have to turn away. You know, if we don't turn away forever, maybe just turn away for you, for you to get to where you need to go or where you want to be. Put the focus back on yourself. You can't give away all your time and energy because what is left for you? Okay, so let's get into this tarot reading for you, Virgo. It's a mermaid theme, so these are all mermaid cards. If you're interested, this is the mermaid tarot in my hand, mermaid oracle, and Dame Darcy mermaid tarot. Can I get a card, please, for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Where am I going with Virgo? We have the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords here that turn away. We have the Chariot card. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have the Sun. See, you're trying to manifest something. You're definitely trying to get to the abundance here. But this betrayal is what's, it's, it's our, our block. Someone we love, someone who we're passionate about. So we have the Queen of Wands clarifying that Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Chariot card. And we have the Hanged Man. It's, it's, Oh, let me thank my spirit guides. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit guides. You know, I love it when the messages come and the cards just put their stamp on it. Can we clarify this three of pentacles, please? Can I clarify this three of pentacles? Can you clarify this three of pentacles? Ten of Pentacles, yeah. We're going to clarify this Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups. Six of Pentacles clarifies the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're trying, you, Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You are definitely trying to manifest your abundance. I think, again, what Spirit gave me is what's in this center column, and we'll get there. But you have here the Three of Pentacles, right? So three, three of Pentacles is working towards uh, 
a common goal with someone. Um, everyone plays their part. Right now, you see that she is working with her like spirit guides or nymphs or angels. Um, you know, she is really putting in the work in. They are assisting her, but I love that they're smaller than her. So you're putting the work in and spirit is just, you know, giving you little pushes and hints and, you know, a little bit of drive, but you're on the right path here dictated by that sun card. So you're coming for something um, and it's going to be of financial benefit to you. We do have the 10 of pentacles. So it's you setting a solid financial foundation on uh, you know where you want you and your family to be in your future if you don't have a family yet you're, you're trying to pave the way um, because you're always thinking about other people Virgo again I you know you need to put yourself first a couple of times because we are our own blocks the, lo the people we're trying to support sometimes block us and I think that's what spirit is telling uh, you through my channeling in the beginning is that you know it, it, it's time to pump the brakes a little bit on helping other people, especially financially at this time, because you want to put all that energy into what you're trying to accomplish. And it's, you know, unfortunately, like I said, sometimes the people closest to us hurt us the most, you know, and it messes with our minds here. We have the Ten of Swords. You know, a lot of people like to say the situation is dead. I don't think this person is dead right this purpose this person this person represents you i think you're tired i think that you've been betrayed or people have hurt your feelings or not believed in you because this is the mental aspect of it um and not believing in your dreams and your hopes and so i think that with this queen of wands i think you're coming into the realization that it really doesn't matter what people say or think you're going to do you and this is represented here by that ace of cups the beginning of an emotional um change <sighs> you're very passionate about what it is you want to accomplish um and it's something that you cannot put off and you feel the urgency not to put it off, right? Despite what these people are seeing or possibly doing um, to try to block you. I don't think it can be blocked. I think that you see this dove diving onto that cup. That's like, if these cards were based on re religion back in the day. So this is like the Holy Spirit descending on you and giving you your energy um, and giving you your new beginning, it being the catalyst, you know, and I do feel that I do feel like you are being guided, you know, it, you don't have to call it God, you can call it your spirit guides, your energy source, whatever terminology you use, but you are definitely being pushed and guided at this time. Um, because you feel the urgency, whenever we feel the urgency for something, you know, that a lot of times is spirit pushing us in the direction we need to go. You're headed again for a lot of stability, financial stability by following your passions and your dreams and putting aside the people who tell you, mm, I don't think you could do it. You know, if everyone listened to those people in our lives, we'll never get anywhere. You have another ace and the chariot card. This is financial gain. So you're going to start seeing some extra money. This could be a bonus. This could be a new job. This could be some incentive you get to keep moving forward. And what's represented here by the chariot card is that it's going to happen, if not this week, leading into the following week. You know, I am reading you on August 21st, right? I'm a little, like I said, I'm late. So I'm actually recording these and uploading them on the 21st um <clears throat> so for you this this energy is very present at this time you do have the six of pentacles and, and the six of pentacles is saying everything in balance right give and take everything's give and take for me this is telling you because i just don't spit out card definitions we don't want to spend more than what we're making 
right? So even though you're going to see some abundance, hold on to that money. Hold on to that money for now. I know this is not the Four of Pentacles, but this is giving me Four of Pentacle vibes. Like we want to keep our output and our input in balance here. We don't want to be outputting more than we're getting in. Uh, we we want to do the opposite. We want to save what whatever uh, comes in. Because when you do that, it allows you to have your treasure chest for later if you need it right you have the hermit card and again i think this is telling you to take a step back from the, the naysayers and the people who don't have your back um, the hangman you have the hermit card the answers are within you you're being guided at this time by that spiritual light that is the star in that lantern by the way if you're not aware of that we have the Six of Cups here. So this talks about our past and our memories of the past. And uh, for me, that represents, the Six of Cups always represents family and those memories. Sometimes family isn't what it used to be. I don't know why I'm being guided to tell you that, but I am. Justice, balance on your side. You know, if you're in a court case, you're going to get abundance from that win. Um, but I just think this is this is just your time. This is your time to... To benefit and of course you're afraid that if you stop taking care of the people you love they're not going to be there for you with that five of pentacles you know it's also a financial burden that you've been under because you've been restricted with money and that's why you're trying to make money um the knight of pentacles i mean you're just getting after it and this is something that you've had on the back burner for a while something that you've been thinking about and you want to do and you're going to do it we have the eight of swords so you have held yourself back from this and the three of swords is that heartache you feel when you know these people do not support you find your support system if anything you know because you are headed towards something grand here i'm gonna give you a final card and this is my oceans what is this whispers of the ocean oracle you have two cards here facing your fears which is <laughs> letting some of these people go look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are facing your fears looking at the underbelly be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner you might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you're working on could use some fine tuning hang man looking at things from a different perspective the hermit finding those answers within we hold the key to your success and this is your reading i'm delilah rose and this is delilah's spiritual spot